Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy and welcome to The Last Lap. In today's video we're going to be showing you guys Hendrick Motorsports, their racing museum and even one of their shops. So we hope you guys enjoy all the footage. Um, I'll catch you guys at the end with a little bit of a recap, but we hope you guys enjoy these clips. That over there is the Exalta building. We passed the 9 to 5 shop already. This is very big. There's a performance center right there. There's administration right here. This is a very big campus. We got tons of stuff to explore over here. We might be here a while. As you guys just saw from that last clip, we are now at the Hendrick Museum. So we're going to see what they got in here. So we walk in the door, and boy oh boy do we have a lot to explore here. Starting with the last cup chassis for the Gen 6 era, this Chase Elliott car. This was the um, 2021 finale from the Championship 4. which. He fin oh, finished behind Kyle Larson. Very nice car we got here. Right here we got Jimmy Johnson's final championship car. Right here. Look at all that confetti on that beauty right there. We got the car that started it all right here. Jeff Bodine's number five car. And here's the car that got Rick Hendrick's first win. Right here, another Jeff Bodine car. Right there. Also over here, we got a Tim Richmond car. Classic Folgers color. Jimmy Johnson's over here. 200, I mean, the Hendrick Motorsports is 200th win. Back in Darlington, 2012. And we got another Jimmy Johnson car back here, a championship winner in that classic cobalt scheme. That thing is nasty looking. <laughs> we got Daryl Waltrip's Daytona 500 winner right here in that classic Tide colors. And right next to that we got Jeff Gordon's 1994 Brickyard 400 car. We got a silver Terry Labonte car over here for his North Wilkesboro win. It's a really pretty looking car as well. There's some historic moments right there that were captured along with all of these trophies. And then Matthew pointed out there's a Pepsi 400 trophy right there that is actually the outline of the track which is a really cool trophy but man so many trophies. So we got a Ricky Hendrick truck right here, one that he actually won with. There's a trophy right there. And then we got a Brian Vickers tribute car right there. And then we have the famous Jimmy Johnson Atlanta winner, remembering all the Hendrick lives that were lost that day. Right here we got the Days of Thunder car. Right here, classic movie. Such a nice paint scheme. Very nice car, right here. So, right here we have Kyle Larson's 2021 championship car. Just you can walk right up to it, you look right in the cockpit and everything. And you got all of his winner stickers right there. You got the left rear tire that is absolutely destroyed the fender of this car. Then we got a Jeff Gordon car right over here as well. This is his first Cup Series win, 1994 <laughs> at Charlotte for the 600. Right there. Two classic cars right next to each other you can just walk up to right here at the I mean, Hendrick Museum. This is the closest I'll ever get to a race car in my life. <laughs> Alright, Matthew told me not to look over here. 
So I'm gonna look over this way right now. Oh my gosh, there it is. The car that was used in the 24 hours of Le Mans. Well, wow, well, the backup car. So it's the but. backup car. But it was used recently for um, Goodwood. Goodwood for their. I forget what that event's all about, but I know it did like a burnout and stuff like that. So, but still, look how amazing this looks. Look at the headlights. <laughs> a NASCAR car has lights. Oh my gosh. All wow. Different carbon fiber pieces on here. This car is nice. Wow. And what's even crazier is the inside of this car. Look at that panel shifters and a stock car. Look at that steering wheel too. That is not your average NASCAR steering wheel or interior in general. Wow. That is awesome. You got the names of the drivers right there too. Look at the rear gosh diffuser things I guess you could call them on the side wow what a beautiful looking race car we I have right spend here a lot of time just getting pictures of it <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna be here quite a while getting some pictures of this thing right here we have one of the most destroyed cars I've ever seen Kenny Schrader's uh, Budweiser car that he destroyed at Talladega I mean just like the engine is just completely junked like there's no front end of this car and then the side of the car that's destroyed the rear is done too like this thing is just absolutely junked all right we got four beauties right here jimmy johnson's 2013 daytona 500 winner we have jimmy johnson's first career win from california We got Dale Jr.'s Daytona 500 winning car from 2014. You can see the tape right there on the grill still. Very nice looking on the hood with all the confetti. And we got that beautiful number. Oh, so nice. And finally right here we have Jeff Gordon's 2015 Martinsville win. His final race win right here. You can even see there's handprints on the car right there. Some damage on the fender. Got some damage along the side as well. What a gem right here in the Hendrick Racing Museum. Got Jeff Gordon's Daytona 500 winner right there from 2005. We got the infamous T-Rex car right there i love that paint scheme such a classic car we got kyle larson's uh coke 600 win the one that uh, broke the record for most wins by a team got the raced version of that die cast and then william byron we got a car for him and alex bowman and kyle larson over there from 2021 this is Bowman's first win in the 48. And then Kyle Larson, this is his first Hendrick win. You know, it's got playoff banners. It might be the same chassis. Yeah, it might be the same chassis, but right here it says first team win for Hendrick. Here's the back bumper of Gordon's Martinsville win right there. And the back of Dale Jr.'s Daytona 500 win, they actually have autographs on the back of it including junior right there and there's the back of it covered in dirt and confetti pretty cool of course at the shop they have the big hats uh, I will not be getting one of those today uh, Matthew's looking at pit shirts over there they got Hendrick hats for Xfinity he's got a Liberty shirt in his hand I think I might be getting this <laughs> we might be getting spending some money here at Hendrick today they even got some sheet metal way up there not getting that today maybe I don't know but yeah we're just doing some shopping now we'll show you guys if we get anything here we're inside the 24 and 48 shop right now and they got all these trophies around here 
And then Jimmy Johnson's seven championship trophies right here too. My goodness. All right, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the Hendrick Motorsports Museum. We hope you guys enjoy. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. As a Hendrick Motorsports fan, I was just like a kid going into a candy store. I absolutely loved it. A lot of cool stuff in there. Jeff Gordon stuff, Chase Elliott, name you name it. Jimmy Johnson, even older drivers. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, video four of our Charlotte series complete. We got one more for you guys. It's actually gonna be the Hall of Fame. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we will see you guys in the next one.